Vortec develops and builds machines for the underground construction of sewers. The guided auger boring equipment is used worldwide with currently in excess of 200 systems in use. The drilling machines from Vortec owe their great efficiency to the application of modern and innovative engineering. They are superior to the open trench methods technically, economically and ecologically. Outer diameters of up to 1400 millimeters and drilling lengths of up to 120 meters speak for themselves. The well-developed systems impress with their simple operation, short setup and dismantling times, as well as reliability in continuous use. The specific advantages of the guided auger boring systems are short setup times, minimum equipment on site, high drilling performance, simple operation, low investment cost and consequently high profitability. These advantages have been proven worldwide with the installation of more than 300,000 meters of sewer. A 400 millimeter sewer is to be laid in an urban residential area using Bortec BM400 with double walled pilot rods and groundwater auger. From a 2 meter diameter starting shaft, the pipes are jacked in at a depth of about 4 meters below the groundwater table. The traffic is not disrupted and the new pipe can simply pass beneath other pipes or cables. Trees and bushes are not damaged. At the beginning of the construction, a starting and target shaft are sunk into the ground. In this case, the starting shaft consists of three shaft rings. In order to avoid any ground loss, the water level in the shaft is always balanced with the water table in the surrounding ground. After sinking the starting shaft to the final depth, the shaft base is cast using an underwater concrete method. The required working space for the setup is minimal for the boring container, hydraulic power pack, and the skeleton transport box for the double wall pilot pipes. After installing the boring container above the starting pit, the craneway is pulled out of the container. The base frame of the machine is lowered into the starting shaft and is set to line level and inclination and then braced. After the machine is set up, the guidance system is installed. The theodolite with electronic camera is mounted on a height adjustable support independently of the machine. The theodolite is then set to the required line, level, and inclination. The machine driver can see the position of the LED target displayed on a monitor, fixed on the shaft wall. The guided pilot drilling is the first step. The double-walled pilot rods consist of the pilot drilling head with built-in LED target, an outer screwed tube, and the inner pilot tube. The pilot drilling head is now pushed through the ceiling of the drilling opening out of the starting pit into the ground. The pilot rods are then jacked one by one into the ground. The pilot rods are pushed forward without using any rotation. Deviations of the pilot drilling head from the intended axis can be seen on the monitor. If a deviation occurs, then pushing is stopped and the pilot head is rotated into the required control position so that when the pilot is pushed forward again, the beveled face of the pilot head reacts against the ground to achieve the necessary correction.
After arrival at the shaft on target, the first pilot rod with the pilot drilling head is disconnected and recovered with the help of the gantry crane mounted above the target shaft. When the pilot rods have reached the target shaft, the reamer is coupled to the pilot rods and follows the line and level established by them. The reamer is coupled to the pilot rods and follows them during jacking of the steel protective pipes. The reamer with the groundwater auger is connected to the pilot rods with steel arms. The special cutting head excavates the ground behind the steel arms. In this case, the reamer is constructed as groundwater auger. Two bulkheads with openings in the lower area are situated in the first steel pipe. The auger screw in this steel pipe also has two bulkheads with openings which are offset 180 degrees from each other. In this way, there is always only one bulkhead open for the transport of material during rotation of the screw. When the rear bulkhead is open, the front one is closed. When the rear one closes, the front one opens, and vice versa. The excavated soil transported by the augers falls into a muck bucket in the starting shaft. Before coupling of auger and casing, the muck bucket is lifted out and emptied. When the reamer arrives in the target shaft, it is uncoupled and removed. If the outer diameter of the product pipe corresponds to the diameter of the steel casings, the first product pipe is coupled directly to the last steel casing in the starting shaft. When the clay jacking pipes are pushed in, only the skin friction has to be overcome. As the product pipes are pushed in, the steel casings and augers are uncoupled in the target shaft. When the last steel protective casing reaches the target shaft, the tunneling is completed. After an inspection, the line can be put into operation. If the sewer has a larger outer diameter, a second reamer drilling is performed as a third step in the process. A reamer with a direct drive hydraulic motor is coupled to the last steel casing in the starting shaft.
and this is pushed in by the jacking pipes. The hydraulic motor in the reamer is powered by the hydraulic lines which are laid through the product pipes. The ground at the heading face is excavated by a special cutting head and transported by anti-clockwise rotation of the augers through the steel casings to the target shaft. The excavated spoil in the target shaft is removed by an excavator. When the drilling is completed, the reamer is removed. These techniques of trenchless pipe jacking are now very competitive with open trench methods and offer many advantages. The innovative range of products manufactured by Bortec combines all advantages of modern auger boring systems. Simple handling, short setup and dismantling times, robust and reliable machine construction.